So we are on stage here at the gathering place and I'm going to talk about our keys rig. Now, by no means am I a keys player, not even in the slightest. I can play a C and I can noodle my way around on something, but you do not want me playing this setup. But when we were going to choose what we were gonna get for our portable church that has now moved to being in a permanent space, I wanted to get something simple, quick to set up, and this got the job done for us. So let me show you what we got here. It's a really simple iPad setup. So what we'll start with here is our controller. This is the Artoria Keylab 88 Essential. It's a great little controller. It is super budget friendly. Um, it doesn't feel like a piano. It doesn't have the weighted keys like I know a lot of piano players like having, but I've had a lot of players who have loved this keyboard and how it's felt and say it feels really good to play. It's not the same, but it's different and it's a great MIDI controller. It does not have its own sounds. It legitimately is just a MIDI controller. And what we're using to get our sounds is right here. We went with an iPad and Sunday Sounds, uh, I'll leave a link to them in the description, had just put out their iPad software. And it's great. We, I'd used their Sunday Sounds rig on a Mac at a previous uh, church. And it was great, it sounds great. They've got lots of different options in here. They are always updating. If you get their subscription, which is like a hundred bucks a year, something like that, they're always updating new sounds. And when they were able to put out the iPad app, this just made all of this really, really simple. So here's how we have this set up. We have our iPad that is running the Sunday Sound software, a little laptop stand here that's attached to the arm. Velcro behind, I have a little USB-C hub here. Coming out of it is a power cable to charge the iPad and run all the power for all of our system. We've got the USB to the keyboard and we've got the USB that goes down here. And this is just one of the $99 audio boxes from Personas. And then our power is down here. So that is all linked together coming out of coming out of the iPad to the hub. The hub sends power to all of our units, including the audio box. And here's the USBs that go here and here. And then we have just a simple controller on the floor uh, that plugs into the keyboard for sustain and all of that, a sustain pedal there. Out of the back of the audio box is left and right instrument cables that then goes and turns into XLRs and they go into our stage boxes over here to send a stereo sound back for our keys left and right into the board. So this is super simple. And um, I'll do another video on things in the Sunday Sounds app and what I like about it another time. I'm not currently set up to let you hear sounds out of it, but it's great. I have a link in the description to their, their YouTube channel as well and how great their sounds are. And I have all of this MIDI controlled on here. So you can see my fader here. My fader controls everything there. So I can control various things from my keys rig right here on this board. I got my master volume that is all right there as well. And I have all my parameters la labeled as well so that my keys player knows what they're going to. This camera just does not want to focus right now. So I have this all set up pretty simple. You can also run pads directly out of here if you want to as well, that you can just select the pad and hit play and then can play along with it, following up on all those patches. Um, they have several patches that they have pre-built that sound really, really good, but you can go in and create your own in here and your own setups to go along these windows and how they layer and all that. So if you no main stage for your keys rig or anything like that. Um, it's really similar in how you can set things up. You can go through, you can set snapshots so you can do different songs and just select the snapshot here and you can see how it moved its features. If I go to my default there, you see things moving to go back to my default and so on. You can set snapshots, you can have 
patches set up over here per song. So if you needed one for this song, one for another song, or needed to switch things between, you can actually select that all there. And you could actually have a MIDI control on your keyboard that would let you hit and move to your next patch or whatever it might be, all within a really powerful little iPad app here. And this is not one of the iPad Pros. This is one of the uh, eighth or ninth generation, 10th generation, whatever it is, a newer one, but not one of the pros with any of the M1 or M2 chips on it. So, so that's the keys rig there. The other thing that we have up here is just a simple little headphone amplifier. So that's where our keys player plug in right there and they have their in-ear mix coming here. And then we use the app on the M32 that you can get on your phone and control your own in-ear mix. So every one of our players on stage can control their own in-ear mix with the app on their phone for whatever they might need. So yeah, so this is the Keys Rig. It's super simple, but it's pretty powerful. It's got a lot of options in it. Um, I'll dig further into Sunday Sounds app later. Like I said, I'm not a Keys player, but what this gives, I think is a really great option for most churches in general, but for sure for smaller churches or portable churches, to be able to just have your keyboard stand and all of this rig pretty easily set up and not having to be fighting with it, uh, this is a really great option. Uh, you can get better mini controllers if you want. Um, a lot of people really like this one and the price point on this particular one is really, really good. Links in the description, none of this is sponsored or anything like that. I don't have affiliate links even, um, but I do love Sweetwater and they've always been really helpful to me when I've ordered stuff for them. So I'll have links to all of these pieces that I'm using in the description box below. If you've got any questions about how I have it set up or what things will work together or not, feel free to hit me up. Um, most likely I'll send you over to Sunday Sounds page to show you the different types of setups that they put together for their system. But I love this app and I love this setup. We'll talk about more of that in the future. But hope you guys have a great day. Do all the things that YouTube tells you to do. Like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.